Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on the video that you guys saw at the beginning of this tutorial. Um, so let's get right into it. To start off, let's just delete everything and let's add a regular cube. Let's click tab GZ. Just bring it up, exit tab and click S 7.5. So now we got a nice big cube to work with. Let's go to wireframe, clicking Z, then dragging over to wireframe. Let's just give this for fluids, domain. Let's immediately add the settings for this right now. So let's add white water in for materials. Let's go with the water ocean volumetric. Foam with foam. Whoops. Foam with foam, bubble with bubble, spray with spray. Um, and let's give it a resolution of 350. And let's add in the actual water itself. So let's add in an icosphere. Let's give us five subdivisions and bring it up to Z axis of 7.5. And let's scale it to around 1.5. Next, let's add in, let's see, an empty plane axis. And let's also bring that up to 7.5 so everything's nice and centered together. And let's give this one a value of negative 100 so it keeps everything together in the middle of this animation next let's add for this sphere um, a simple just fluid object and let's add in another sphere that's going to go around this one um, let's give this one yeah subdivisions are good let's scale it to 0 0.56 um and let's just bring it up you guys can animate this wherever you want it. If you guys want to copy how I do it, just look at your right hand corner here, my location. You guys will see how I do it. And let's add flip fluids and flow. Just add it to another subdivision step. So at the end of the animation, it's going to end here. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to make this animation 500 frames. I want it to end. I want to make an end kind of like right next to the sphere and let me and frame that keyframe that um and let's just add some settings here i'm gonna put mines at 4k leave it at png and you guys can set this output folder um this is where animation and render so if you guys have a folder specific you want to put it in um go ahead do that let's put a gpu film let's make it transparent because we're gonna add in a hgri for sample, just put that at 512. Now let's go to this world button. Let's add an environment texture. And I'm gonna go to my desktop where I keep mines. And I'm gonna add in Spruce Sunrise. I'm gonna put this HDRI in the description so you guys could go download that. Uh, so as right now, we can't see anything because there's nothing in the scene that's rendered out yet. So all we need to do now is bake this until it's finished at 500 frames. But before we do that, um, let's add in a camera. So let's quickly do that. After you add in, just click Control Alt Zero, and let's reposition this. So now let's make it kind of circle this whole animation. So let's add in another plane axis. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this empty, we're gonna drag it up a little bit. Let's kick this. Cl let's click this camera. Click our empty. Click Control P. Keep transform. So now, if we go into our camera, whenever we rotate this, the camera is gonna follow it. So let's click I. Let's actually drag this keyframe to the very beginning of the animation. At frame one. Let's hop to the end animation. Click R Z. Type in 360, and then click rotation and then click location, rotation, scale. And let's play the animation. You will see the camera just follows around this super nicely. Um, as a matter of fact, let's kind of make the focal length of the camera a little bit further out, like 39. So you can see more of the animation. With that being said and done, all we gotta do now is render it. I'm gonna pick a folder where I want to render this. Okay, so now all we gotta do is click N on your keyboard, click Flip Fluids, um, 
Analyze motion blur to make your scene more nice. Okay, Editor Jacob here. Um, the part where the audio went out, I was just launching the render. So it's gonna tell you when it's done um, on that command prompt. So just click, just close it out when you guys are done. And then your animation should be in your folder where it's set at. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time.